Good morning, everyone. Uh, give me one second. It seems like my webcam is having a little bit of trouble this morning. Uh, I was also doing a whole lot of setup first thing, uh, trying to get things ready. Um, kind of uh, been going through, of course, a new rebranding, new naming. <clears throat> As you can tell, no longer Miss Time Vault, no longer Grand Gaming Harvester, none of that. Uh, we're going to be going by Dr. Endgame, everyone. So give me one second here. I do see we have some new viewers, it looks like, over on Kick. Um, welcome. By all means, I've got the chat open on Kick. I multi stream. Uh, welcome back, Courtney and Pawali over on YouTube. <clears throat> um, I don't see my Twitch chat up and running quite yet, but we can fix that issue perhaps. I said we've been going through all the whole renaming thing, which has caused some um, interesting, well, it's caused some interesting troubles this morning getting things connected and up and running. <clears throat> Well, it says I'm connected over on Twitch, so we'll give it a minute and see if the Twitch chat pops up. Oh, looks like the, the people we had over at Kick have decided to drop off, but give me one second here. I got one there. I'm pretty sure I know who that is. And if you are there, good morning, Twisted. Uh, let's see here. Can't see who. There's no list. Even on Kick, I was looking for them. Is there a list of people that I can see? And uh, no, there's no list of people, unfortunately. Now, why is my camera not coming up? Interesting. I know it came up in here. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll go live scene right now. Um, I'm still working out some kinks, obviously. Uh, the lobby is one of those things. I want to get back up and running again. Um, that's kind of a, an entry point into the show, of course. So, <clears throat> with that being said... We are going back in Night Guild again. Um, I did consider going into a different game today. Uh, might be on my list tomorrow, but I did make a point that I will go into here. And uh, we are going to go after Nelly Bly today. We actually have everything set up for that. We have the cards. I'm debating whether or not to build a new portal or just use up the cards that were on the portal. Uh, shouldn't take me too long to build a new portal. You know, we've got to at least have the wire and everything, but... <clears throat> Yeah, get back to the back rooms. Yeah, I keep hearing that from Courtney, too. <clears throat> we will, Twisted, we will. Um, and, you know, actually, I just I thought about that. I'm like, I've got a lot of horror games that are fairly quick to play. And in the two-hour time frame that I'm doing every day, it might be wise to just start running down the list of the games that I've been meaning to get through. Um, it'll also give me that ability to write those, uh, those reviews, right? So, and I can always use the recordings from here as part of my review. So, um, yeah, yeah, I will probably, it's been uh, a thought of mine to maybe put this game back on like a one, a, one day a week kind of thing and kind of just start burning through the games I've got so we can get those reviews up. I know I've been talking about nine child street for at least a couple of weeks now. I mean, I tell you, uh, last week, like I said, I had lots of, um, appointments for my kids and, you know, scheduling that kind of causes a lot of havoc. Um, but today, you know, this week, of course, la we also had the whole rebranding thing that had been weighing on my mind a lot about what to do about that. And so I think things are, well, I be actually, I know things are a much better place now, uh, much more prepared for what I want, for where I want this channel to go. So, um, okay. Let's see. We were considering rebuilding a new portal. In order to do so, I still have, I have one synchronous lotus. Uh, let's see. Water. Oh, that's the other thing I want to do before I go after Nelly. But I think we can make it to Nelly. Um, yeah, yeah. Family life is no joke. It is busy. Um, in fact, I was talking to someone yesterday, uh, and they pointed out the same thing, that they knew someone who was trying to do this, uh, uh, you know, trying to do streaming that, but they had kids and... Um, it just was difficult to work around. I said, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Took me a while to figure out what's a good time and how much time can I really spare on doing a live anyway, outside of, you know, wanting to do editing on videos and that. So we will, uh, we got it all figured out. We, we found a good time that works for everybody, even if it is early in the morning and people out on the West coast are asleep <laughs> or just getting, getting up for work and people, you know, throughout the rest of the nation are probably going to lunch. So, um, 
<clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave uh, everybody in, who might see it over on kick. I'll leave it with that comment that you said, Twisted. It is uh, hard to compare. <clears throat> Let's see. Here. Lumber. We need 10 lumber. We need 7 ingot. Wire. Okay, you know what? Honestly, I know I may not even be prepared to go into. Wow, the portal is still up and running. I thought it. Maybe. Maybe Critter was over here at one point. I don't know. Um, so Critter, of course, Critter and I, as you can see, I labeled it Critter Bug Portal. Um, Critter and I share uh, address cards so we can go visit each other's portals. But um, this is going to become my portal room. Once you lay a portal, you can't move it. And I decided, you know what, we'll make a portal room. <laughs> it's the first room for the new house. Obviously, it's going to have to be fairly massive to house quite a few portals. Um, should we decide to keep most of them. But we know that she's in a desert realm. See, it's in standby. And I hate to reuse, like, I had a force card. The force card is gone now because I used it. And so is the astrolabe card. I still have an extra astrolabe card. So I create another astrolabe portal to the forest realm if I want. I think, you know, I feel like creating an astrolabe for each one of these. Um, the antiquarian is a, you know, a little more difficult. That's what we used to get to uh, the last realm. But we need to go... So this is desert, right? I was on desert, but yeah, desert, and she is in the herbarium. Uh, okay, how about reset portal then? Okay. Okay. And this is where we got to go. And we should find Nelly here in this, in this situation. <clears throat> oh, Courtney, twisted it. That's all she said. Your family life compares to no other. <laughs> so... And she is right. It compares to no other, but everybody's family life and everybody's life compares to no other, right? We each lead our own stories in life. <clears throat> but yeah, I've got some, there's some crazy stories of mine for sure. Just going to walk around while that powers up. It's got a, Sync the realms together. You know what? We'll get a little sleep, eat some food, maybe. Uh, oh, I'm using the wrong mouse this morning for the game. Gotta get ourselves used to this. All right, in we go. Now, my understanding, because I've gone into the Desert Herbarium Realm for Nelly Bly with Critterbug for the one that he had, and it is not simple. It's like fit level 50 care, um, NPCs, uh, and I am not quite that level. Well, I am. I'm about the same level if I have the right gear on, right? So if I was to switch over to, uh, let's say, actually, I have to actually put the gear on. See, I'm level 51 there. Just barely enough possibly to take on these guys. And these guys, you know, they do damage to you, but it looks like they break down rock. Man, I wish I had them in my realm, back in the desert realm, make it a lot easier to pick up stone block and deal with that. Right now, I don't want to get in the middle of that because it does damage to you if you do. We need to find Nelly Bly. I still have agility. Okay, so he, his was an essence trader, and there's a portal here, so I'm going to assume... That that is gonna be where I need to go here. I'm not gonna deal with that portal. I already know what that's all about. Uh, you do not turn on a portal. I'm gonna put that there, uh, unless you're prepared to go into it. We already dealt with that once. We could deal with this. This looks like it's a. Uh, no, no, come on! I didn't. I didn't say I want to deal with you now. Yeah, see, those are bound. It's a Bastille of uh, what, of Agility or... Okay, you know what? They're going to come after me anyways. Fine. You see, they're at level 85. Considerably more difficult. I should have been prepared with the right tools. But no, no. We decided let's take this on. We can do it. Just keep moving. Oh, shit. We got a gunpowder guy. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, 
Take this. Yeah, you're gonna blow us both up, you damn, you asshole. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see here. Nine. And... No! Hey, how about you guys deal with the scorpions? Yeah. <laughs> Go after the scorpion. Leave me... Holy crap, there's tons of them! Look at them. All right. Follow me over here. There's these little beetles here that you don't see in my realm either. Okay. Think I got far enough. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we decided to take on this realm. That was smart, wasn't it? So that guy there was one of the first things I had to defeat in my own realm. And I was not prepared for that. And I am out of healing salves, apparently. Oh boy, we are not prepared. <laughs> <clears throat> I just want to make it to Nelly Bly though, because I figured maybe I can get some other, like some uh, weaponry upgrade. That's my issue right now is I don't have a, um, look at him. I don't have enough, I don't have the plans to like create or even like the a refined workbench to create better tools. I don't know if in the workbench I could make the better tools, but I feel like I need to step up on the, the workbench. I don't have that. So I figured our best option is we have to make it over to Nelly Bly. I don't see her on my horizon like I'm supposed to with the sticker. Hello, where are you? Where are you at? I hear the scorpion behind me. Thankfully, I have really high agility at the moment. I'm going to run for days. Oh, it's over that way. Gee, okay, we're running away from where we want to be. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> We got this. Just keep running. Tons of agility. Yeah, no, 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 no. Leave me alone. I'm not messing with you. You don't mess with me. We're good. Now we know we have to keep this portal uh, open just like the other portal that we used in my realm. The actual Fae portal that I used that was... um. Come on, jump up there. All right, fine. I know you can make it up this stuff. This is not that hard. There are worse spots that we've been up. Oh, come on. No, don't fall. Oh, come on. There we go. Got to find those spots. And there's just, I mean, any game like this I've played in the past Skyrim um, and some of the other. Uh, open world games I played, any sort of cliffside, you just gotta find your way up it. It's a slow, painful process, but it is doable. Come on, get up here. We're almost there. I know we are. Don't get stuck. Oh, come on. All right. Um, shit. It's going to be up that cliffside. Awesome. And I don't think there's anywhere I'm going to be able to jump straight across to make it, but it looks like if I did jump across that to that side, there might be enough or even not over on that corner there. So we got a little, got to get up higher here. I hope everyone's doing great today and having a wonderful day so far, starting off. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to float long enough to get across this to the spot that I want to be to get up. I mean, that's where I would like to probably get to if possible, but I don't think I'm going to be able to float 
far enough, long enough. That's where I need to get. <laughs> I don't know if there's a large enough gap. If the gap is smaller over there, it looks like it might be. But if I chance this and I'm wrong, this could end up with me killing myself and having to wait for Wilson to come find me. If he's even alive. I think I left Wilson back there and he <laughs> took the brunt of it. He's probably laying back there on the ground. Darn. I think if I come from over there, that might be high enough to reach from down to there. Here, it's too close to the same height. We're going to have to run around to the other side, I think. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yeah, when I mean run around to the other side, I mean try and get over to the other cliff face. <laughs> tons of cliff faces. But yeah, I think that is a shorter gap, and I might be able to make that. So I think we'll make this one just fine. I think. Cross my fingers. We're almost there. I don't want to have to drop. Just can we then climb up it? I don't know. Holy shit. We made it. <laughs> All right. Change up my tools here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Get up the side of this thing. We have a lot of stamina right now, so that's good. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a pterodactyl or something? <laughs> Some large flying beast. Oh, I didn't want to encounter you. Coming through. Ah. At least I haven't sprained my ankle yet. All right, put up your umbrellas or cool off a bit because we need that stamina here in a minute. Hey, Twisted, so to keep my beard nice and pretty, right, I use uh, oil and uh, butter, and I've been wearing Christina on the front now and because she can face outward. She holds up her head really well, and... Um, She'll turn her head and that, and my beard just brushes over her head all the time. <laughs> so her head looks like it's been plastered with all like oil. Okay, so I'm not sure what the easiest way of getting up this thing is going to be. I might have enough stamina to climb right up there straight up. And then up that side there. So I think that's where we're going to go. Over here, it's at an angle, so I don't know if I'm really going to be able to walk up that like most. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. And otherwise, it's getting there, which I might be able to do just going across, and that would be a lot shorter distances trying to climb up. So I think that's what we'll actually do. Or we'll see if we can make how much of this we can make. All right, cool. And then I definitely need to work on that. The, the graphics there when climbing things gets very, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, come on. Get up there. I know you can do it. Come on. Just got to find the right place. Oops. I guess I ran out of stamina. Maybe not. All right. We made it. Tons of people, it looks like, up here or something. Essence Trader. Wow. Yeah, there are tons of people up here. Etta. Eli. There's Nelly. You. I want to speak to you. All right. 
Crafting refinement. See, he's got like nothing. Maybe I did get everything. Bonfire. Oh, I didn't get that last time. Do I have enough? I do. Build a cooking station to craft consumable food items. The higher the bench quality, the more augmentations you can apply, the more crafting recipes you can access. For the valiant Red Cross Knights, no mere, mere kindling could suffice for their grand feasts and raucous celebrations. Such raging bonfires continue to evoke their legendary exploits. All right, bye. Now, let's see here. Do they have anything like... Well, no, they do have to... Ah. So I have refined climbing picks, but I need refined... I need other refined tools. Where would I find better refined tools? Obviously not from him. Uh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that idea for like the um, the desert. Yeah, we have the basic set. I want a cannon. I really do. <laughs> Don't know if it's really, you know, it's probably all decorative, but it's still... <clears throat> I'm buying it. I need better tools. All right, Nelly, what do you got for me? I see you managed your way here without a proper guide. Given the determination etched on your brow, I'm guessing this encounter is not simply by chance. <clears throat> So I was told you might help me or vice versa. Then you've worked up an appetite for greater things in the face of disaster. I suppose. First things first. How exactly did you find me? Uh, yeah, seasoned realm walker Aurelio was the name. Aurelio? He put his map down for a second, for a second to help you. Then the old walking pickaxe accepted the explorer's new mission after all. <clears throat> Someone in my line of work ought to know by now never to make assumptions. So tell me, in your own words, what brings you to me? Uh, shared destination, Nightingale. You seek Nightingale? Oh, my heavens, no. Who planted that seed between your ears? Nightingale is off-limits, inaccessible, completely and utterly. You are certain the city is unreachable. With the portal network dismantled, <clears throat> access was, was sundered. There is no door left open. Not until we can find a safe means of reopening Nightingale's transepts. Hmm. Portal network? Sundered? Hmm? Huh? The network of arcane portals was the only stable means of traveling the realms, up kept by the hands and minds of our calcularia. The portals that were part of the network held permanent connections in alignment with the various realms one step removed from, the, from Earth which we call canonical, permitting travel to and from the city. Without it, finding the way back is as if you, we were a ship in a sea of darkness, making way for a shoreline with neither lighthouse nor port. If not Nightingale, then where are you headed? With one safe haven out of reach, I continue searching for another, for these souls here, for all who are lost, which is why we are trying to reach a place known as the Watch. It was a curated realm, and so should be easier to access. There we can all take our bearings, and the factions can convene to plan how we might return to Earth. Well, realms, why the watch? Two words. Alan Quartermain. He's there waiting for us. Or so I choose to believe. See, we'd been planning to make our way there before the network collapsed. Quartermain and I dove into the realms, knowing we'd be split up, but vowed to rendezvous there. <clears throat> the legendary Alan Quartermain, uh, Alan Quartermain? Yes, yes. The head of the Royal Cosmographical and Geo-Arcane Society and all that. Simply put, he's the greatest explorer who ever lived. But don't tell that to his face. He's not one for compliments and servility. <clears throat> but why are you gathering in this desert? At the bottom of this cave, there used to be a permanent portal. Unfortunately, without the portal network to direct it, it's just a hole leading nowhere. That's the reason we've assembled this gate. Let's, uh, let some wandering fool get stuck between realms. Yes, I'm going to keep my comments about holes leading to nowhere or to myself. But if, we imagine, but if we manage to secure its connection, we could make it safe again. Better yet, we could give it a new destination. 
Exactly. The goal isn't only to open the door, but to keep that door jar. Rebuild the network, or at least a piece of it, like it was before. Like it was before the calamity. To achieve that, we need a portal stabilizer, which is why I've got my hands on this broken hunk of machinery. If we can repair it, we can attune the portal and the cave to the watch, so long as Quartermain's uh, lived up to his promise. Okay, I realize now that I didn't have the desktop audio on. Sorry, everybody. I hope you enjoy the lovely music of Nightingale now. <laughs> <clears throat> Won't the pale seep out? At least my mic was on this time. <laughs> <laughs> so far as uh, has been observed, the pale has only secreted onto Earth. No known realms have been impacted. If you ask me, I'd say such was intentional, but I being the obvious culprits. Before we can start digging, we must regroup and mend the welfare of those who survived. And that heap of metal and wires is a portal stabilizer? I suspect it was among the first ever carted into the realms by the NTTC. And, while it looks clunky, an expert has assured me that it can be brought back to life. That's the thing about old technologies. They're cumbersome and elaborate as Indian tapestries, but rarely did they break beyond repair, solid as the temples of Malta. Stabilizers were, as I understand, derived by making min minute adjustments to Charles Babbage's reliable difference engines, engines to carry out the alignment tasks between two realms. Traditionally, powered by steam and turbine, it's no wonder this one's sturdy. So how do we fix it? Three crucial components are missing. A reliable heat source, combustion fluid, and an attunement conductor. Typically, the Calcularia distilled such things from pale lodestone, but it's impossible to collect from the interromic space with the bound about. Thankfully, Calcularia technologies are founded on, the, on magical principles, thus scarce resources in the realms can substitute the missing parts, since they're imbued with the same properties, or so Victor's assured me. <clears throat> Why did the bound come to newly open portals and new anomaly? Nobody has that answer, not yet. There's a theory that the bound can inhabit the inter space and now patrol it. Is it their home? Who knows? Declarative technology is magic. They see magic as science. Systems of powder that can be drawn upon predictabil uh, predictably if the correct resources are applied. What if uh, what is physics but contracts between atoms? Like gravity, merely because we don't understand causation of a system doesn't mean we can't approach that system logically, derive its rules, and manipulate it for our benefit. Got it. What resources do we need? An elder eaten heart. I assume that's eaten or eaten. Uh, a hallucidic etched ingot, and automaton charm oil. All attainable from specific fantastical creatures. Yeah, I bet. Alright, where do I find this? Obtained from an elder Eden. Obviously, these tree folk often hide among less agile kin in forest hunt realms. Be warned, they don't take kindly to tree lopers, tree loppers, protective of saplings, so the stories go. They are elder spirits after all. Oh, so I wonder if it's that big walking thing. Tell me more about the Pelusitic etched. Pelusidia is a fey mineral, which will be our conductor. In raw form, it's neither solid nor liquid, non Newtonian. Victor described it. <clears throat> Exceedingly rare and tough to mine, but chemically similar to pale lodestone. Apparently sky fallers, or as we call them, sun giants, collected in the form of etched ingots left behind by the court of Empyrean. I do see... Give me one second here. I do apologize. I want to see if I can get my Twitch chat up and running real quick. So I'm restarting my Twitch chat bot. It seems that I know I've got to be streaming out Twitch because that's something I didn't think to check this morning. Um, simply because, yep, I am streaming Twitch. It seems that I know I've got to be streaming out Twitch because that's something I didn't have to check this morning. 
Good morning, everyone. Even if you are a bot, simply because. <laughs> yep, I am streaming Twitch. It seems that I know I've got to be streaming out of Twitch because there we go. I had to restart the chat software because what happened was when I changed a few settings yesterday. Even if you are. I'm sure you were all listening to me talking to myself again. Because <laughs> uh, I had the Twitch uh, TV channel up on the browser. But um, when I reset a few things yesterday, apparently uh, it killed my OAuth, um, my OAuth token. So, all right. Back to this. Exceedingly rare and tough to mine, but chemically similar to Pale Lodestone. Apparently Sky Followers, or as we call them, Sun Giants, collect it in the form of edged ingots left behind by the Court of Empyrean. Sun Giants, and where would I find them? Sun Giants have a tendency to collect stray fey goodies, though they too are a rare sight found mostly in desert hunt realms. Desert hunt realms. Okay, what the fuck is a desert hunt realm? Let me have to ask. <clears throat> Tomaton Charm Order. I guess it's that thing that I was de uh, I saw there earlier because that isn't a Tomaton. I know I'm not ready to take on it here. Ah, our combustion fluid. Likely the easiest one to set your mitts on shore. Legend tells the substance courses through the veins of automaton bishops. They secret it to attract other automatons, though we understand little about these those creepy imitations of life. Don't even know how they came to be. Oh, it's the little ones. Okay, that's why Victor's out studying them in a desert astrolabe realm. Yeah, I see astrolabe, so he's in an astrolabe realm. It certainly won't be a walk in Central Park, but I'm glad you asked. Not many are willing to brave the necessary dangers. While I don't condone hunting such majestic beings, I can't condone it, uh, condemn it in our current situation. Know, however, that many human deaths have been suffered by these creatures. Yeah, no. Personally, I do some digging, attempt to make meaningful contact. Hostility is in their nature, uh, but it is but is not their only nature. So I shouldn't kill them. Do as you see fit. What I care about is obtaining the material. You can manage to avoid evoking the ire of realm spirits, you'd have my respect. Though I am sensitive to the fact that this isn't always conducive to survival. If there's truth to the hermetic bestiaries and Ill illegible druidic scrawlings, creatures like these are open to human interaction. Were I you, which I am not, I'd begin with the charm oil by finding an automaton bishop. But every time you approach them like this, they attack you. Out researching automatons, seeking his counsel is beneficial. Mercurial as he can be, I'm sure he'd appreciate a lint hand. Now, last word. Acquiring these discoveries will take time. Prepare to discover, prepare to discover, and harness the arcane secrets hidden in these wilds. Patience is necessity for all of us. Try not to disappoint. Good. As Mr. Quartermain always uh, bellowed before an expedition, may the love of the unknown guide you. Holy jeez. Alright. So. Oh, look at that. Hey, Puck. How ho, you doing? ho, ho. The explorer's second doth keep her promises. An obedient cur. Not too fond of fairy folk, <coughs> but who can blame the girl? Oh, While I regret count. that returning to Nightingale must wait many moons, Nelly's recourse has refilled your spirit, I see. The omen I carry is thus ill-timed. Whispers unfurl. Something is rotten in the realms, and it's more than the requiem being sung for Earth. As I took a knightly <clears throat> form, a little jay tittle-tattled in my ear. Jeez. Reports of darkness past, and of darkness still to come. The pale may only be the beginning yeah, of Earthkind's uh, woes. The, ho -ho -ho, the tittle-tattle. <laughs> pale may only be the beginning of Earthkind's Yet, woes. not all jays can be trusted. And thus, before I tell all, I'll pry where I can while you seek the innards of beasts for Miss Bly. Does that include your innards, Mr. Puck? <laughs> oh yeah, that's something else. Um, that. Oh, what do we? What do we press? Oh, things. There. Yeah. Okay. So. Go salute. 
<laughs> they have little emotes. Something that me and uh, Critter were d discussing the other day because we noticed that there was a card that talked about like after an emote, uh, something would happen, and we couldn't figure out well, there's emotes, and so he looked it up, and sure enough, there are emotes. <clears throat> Okay. Have you lost your mind, lady? Short rest. We need to eat some food, obviously. Doesn't last as long here as it did in my realm. So do like all these people, they just like simple things. Some people lost in danger. I need to catch my breath and get back out there. Yep, okay. Mm. So, we don't have a portal. I, I thought there was a portal up here. Let's see. Uh, whoops. I need more food, too. I just gotta go make some stuff. That's the lamppost y'all got. I there's a portal that maybe I could use up here. Doesn't really matter. I think I'm gonna be returning back to my realm yet again. Um, and we're gonna have to create another portal. Because we need to go seek out this guy. And let's see. We got a ton of stuff on our list here. Acquire Pelocytic Etched Ingot. Acquire El Other Eaten Heart. Acquire Automaton Charm Oil. Complete the quest. The Bishop's Charm. <coughs> <coughs> Unlock the Provisioner card. We still got to do that. Let's see here. Um, the Journal. Gateway to the watch. Unlock the provisioner card. Oops. I'm studying the automaton so I could talk, meet with him. Victor Franken, Franken, Frankenstein. Uh, can be found in a desert astrolabe realm in the black, can be found in desert herbarium rubble. So, if we want to speak to Victor, through the rewards, um, we need to speak, we need to go to the dash, desert astrolabe realm. Which I have an astrolabe card and I have a desert card. I want to build another, I'm going to have to build another portal because I don't want to... Uh, lose my way to Nelly Bly because we'll have to come back here again anyway. So we will have to build another portal in this instance. We are getting out of here. <clears throat> oh, the sights we will see. I don't think this is what Dr. Seuss meant, but you know. <clears throat> Sure takes a moment. All right, while there's loads, I will be right back, everybody.
Hello, and we are back. Seriously, sometimes I hear my voice. I go, it should be something like an ASMR. But that's in my ears, and I don't know how it sounds to everyone else sometimes. Okay, and we are back in our advanced realm. And now we move along to uh, the desert realm. Not that desert realm. That's not that. So we gotta build that portal. So we need a little shit. <laughs> Hey, ten lumber, seven ingot, three wire. Ah, oh, Lord of the Rings. Jobs are done. I want to go see if I can actually build. See, I can build a refined hammer in that. Can I build anything else? And see, it's not in here. It's just simple shit, and I don't have the refined. I wonder. No, because this was crafting. Uh, let's see, refinement. Make down makeshift. See, these are the makeshift items, which I can make up on hand without, um, without a, t a table. Refinement. Oh, so much stuff. I wish it was an easier way to get through all this. And I wish it would actually stay kind of, you know, simplified, for you to easily get to. So refined climbing picks. Crafted at benches with the following traits. Excellent workbench or refined workbench. So there is a refined workbench. And I don't have it. <clears throat> Got a globe. It would add an augmentation. So there's like the other thing, right? Like knowing uh, with one of the following augmentations. I need a refined workbench. But where do I get the refined workbench? Who did I overlook? Got a lot of the refined, um, you know, benches and that, but I didn't get that one. I don't think that's going to be... See, I think if I open this up again, it's all gonna be um, expanded again. If I do mark all red. No, I guess that doesn't matter. I just kind of want. I wish I like collapse all would be great. So like even the spyglass I got, I have to have a refined workbench or an exceptional workbench. Just a crack umbrella. You can I can make from a simple workbench, but again. I need this one. Nope. Nope. Okay. Then these are all just things. So apparently my dog will hear me in here talking and think I'm talking to her. Sit outside the door of my office and poof. poof. Refinement, brazier, refined masonry bench, refined mortar station, refined sawtail, refined spinning wheel, simple masonry bench, and then we get the simple items. It'd be also nice if we could break that down. We can only see like the higher level stuff too. Uh, refined alchemical, refined enchanter's focus, simple alchemical, simple enchanter's focus, simple sewing bench, simple tiny stage, simple upgrade, and simple workbench. Okay, so I haven't unlocked these two items. Ritual Seed Nursery and Pioneer's Umbrella, which I'm not too worried about at the moment. It's not something that... Anyway, um...
We need more ore. At least I'm pretty sure I need more ore. Cause I, didn't, I only had enough to barely kind of get through everything yesterday. There's some ore there, but I think we need quite a bit more than that. I need more wire and all that. <clears throat> I don't think this is the creature that I'm talking about earlier. Actually, I can even use. Pretty sure the creature that they were talking about. Um, yeah. It's an Eaton, but it's not the one that they're talking about. I need an Elder Eaton. So this is a Seria Sar Eaton or something. Siri, Siri, Siri Eaton? Oh. <clears throat> over there. Hey look, we got some more. Nope, that's uh, rock, never mind. This might be ore. Yep. Whoa. I hope, I hope, I hope that we go. Increase, no, no left set, no quarry card. Play this card to increase stone yield, reduce time involved to refine stone products and improve the quality of stone items. A stone. <clears throat> refine building materials and crops, to improve the fortitude of structures. No, no, nope, 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 <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I don't have shit. Nope, nobody, nope, nope. Hey, there's some more. Oh no, this is salt. Okay, well, that's salt. I know that's salt. Kind of fool's gold, right? Looks like uh, ore, but it's not ore. I'm so thinking I'm dealing with ore. What a lie. Some from over there earlier from yesterday. There might be more over there, but let's walk this little this cliff side. And see if there's nothing over here. I'll tell you what is over here. My old um, hut. Catch a quick snooze. Thank you. Ooh, can we make something? No, I want some stuff. Do my healing salve. I got fiber, but the bones are back at the place. I need to make some more of that. <clears throat> I can't make anything without having food, so. But hey, got a campfire nearby in case we need it. I feel like I should put more of that like, around in areas. Sticks, why not? Yeah, I think I see some more on the other side. Oh, wait. Is that all gemstone looks like? There might be some around the corner there. And we're right here right now, right? <clears throat> I do think I saw some more on the other side over there.
It's hard, so hard to discern like what is available and what you can do. Picking it up there, Tommy Wilson. Doing a good job, I guess. Hi. How you doing, Bella? Having a good day? Oh, you're my way. <clears throat> well, thanks. I appreciate it. We are trying, Bella, we are trying. We're growing as fast as we can. No, not yet. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Right, we're working on it. We're trying to get that. <clears throat> In fact, uh, that's one tech. Keep forgetting. <laughs> I need to put in the name of my uh, channel. So Nightingale's working on affiliations. And if you were seeking that, which I have been, uh, I was like, well, we're going to play. Why not? I do enjoy the game. I am <clears throat> uh, wishing them the best, of course. And <clears throat> they um, I said, if you're looking for affiliate, you know, just let us know that you're, doing, that you're playing the game, essentially, by hashtagging your content with okay, Nightingale. And I forgot to do that yesterday in the game. After I had been playing Backroom on Friday for my Freaky Friday content. Which, as I explained this morning to everybody, uh, if you missed it, I am considering doing a rundown. I have a crap ton of horror games and, you know, need content for reviews anyways. <clears throat> so, I was considering doing a rundown of all my horror game content. It's been sitting in my Steam library. Grab it, grab it. <coughs> We're looking towards affiliation and all that. You know? We're getting there. Need chatters. <laughs> Still need more followers, but we definitely need chatters too. So I appreciate your time up. Saying hi. Dude, that was on you, not on me. No, that was on you, not on me. <laughs> that was on you. <laughs> Oh shit. But well, you know what? That's fine. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, I know you can move up here, but damn. Oh, ah, ow! You're not hitting me for as much as I thought you were. And I'm stuck. That's not cool. Alright. Oh shit! <laughs> I always thought you'd be harder. I guess not. I've grown. Maybe if it was like at first, it would have been really hard, but not now. Aim for the eyes. There you go, Courtney. We finally felt ourselves our first alone. <laughs> it's time to skin them. Dinner. He's a big boy. There we go. What do we got? Now we can make some food. But no, it was not on me. It was on him. He got my way. I swung up and turned his head in. You know. Yo, Wilson. How's it going, bud? All right, I think there's still a little more ore. Might as well collect as much as I possibly can because we're going back out and having to recollect all this. I mean, it's right here. And I know Wilson's picking it up too, so. Hmm. All right, 
one second, number one. I need to... Let's go to my right here in Discord in the background. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Wow, what kind of ore is this? Copper ore. Ooh. Yeah, pretty shame. No man's sky is very similar to it. You got this very pretty looking metal. And I'm curious, I've never actually seen copper ore like in the ground. I'd be very curious as to what it looks like. Anybody here ever seen copper ore in the actual ground? <clears throat> Dude, pick it up, don't no, throw it around. I'm way down. What do you mean I'm way down? Yeah, I have a ton of ore, I'm sure, by now. Where's do I have? There was a bunch more that we were passing by. So I got 11 copper, I got 62 nickel. Oh, we got plenty. And it breaks down. I mean, that, that, you know, it's like two ore for every ingot, two ingot for every piece of wire. We just cut that by four. You know? <laughs> 62 yeah. divided by four, and we'll eventually have what we're looking at here. I'm not sure Bella's still there with us. All right, let's make some food. Healing cells too. <clears throat> Once the roasted meat's ready, so it's gonna take about a minute, and then we'll go make all that uh, that lovely wire and ingot and that that we need to make in order for us to. Ooh, I need wood too, but I guess that can we can go get the wood while the ingot and the wire is being made. Yeah. Roasted meat. Mm. We had some roast beef, or, uh, yeah, roast beef last time. It's good. Pot roast. I uh, love me some pot roast. Alright. Oh, I guess we have three. We have one more to go. It was funny, twisted. Um, uh, so yesterday I was going to rebranding everything. All right, so everyone who is here also who is watching, um, who I haven't talked to about it yet, <clears throat> we're going through the process of rebranding all the social medias. And I still have so much more to rebrand. I forgot about my Streamlabs and all this, but <clears throat> the um, the rebranding we ended up um, trying to. Of course, uh, we had changed the name of the Twitch channel a while back. Uh, not that far back, actually, like maybe a week ago. And you, once you change it, you have to wait like 60 days. So I have to wait two months before I can actually change the name of my Twitch channel. But to make sure I didn't lose it, I created another Twitch channel. So, you know, I, I wanted to keep the name, and I didn't want someone else to pick up the name on Twitch. But uh, I don't want, you know, uh, I can't actually change it to this channel, and I don't want to start over. I don't want hey, everybody come move over here, please. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> so I know it's like, well, you just started out. You only got like you know, 20 odd followers at the moment. Hey, you know what? That That's really not that bad. I've been picking up followers pretty well over the last few days. I've been really excited about that. So, um, you know, we're getting there. But, <clears throat> yeah, it changing the name um, and going through this process, I was, like, offhandedly changing it, thinking, hey, this was a great name at times, coming to find out that, nope, wasn't quite what I wanted. Um, so we're, you know, we're progressing, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Well, I already had some wire, but we are still weighed down. So 141. So this is just some rock. I don't think I need this. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was roast, roast beef done in um, uh, pressure cooker. So yeah, definitely not the. Um, 
a uh, TV dinner. <laughs> but I, I understand your situation, Jennifer. I mean, you, you were quite busy last night, so. Um, did the boys have fun with dinner last night out with Grandpa? Where'd they go, by the way? I feel like I'm bringing it up here on the live. <laughs> <clears throat> Streaming to Facebook, that's everything. I'm streaming to Facebook. Nah, that was everything. I can't change the Facebook name yet either because that also got changed. I have to wait 60 days. Mm. <laughs> but uh, I get it. They don't want people changing names all the time. I'll tell you though, it's one of those things that, you know, I thought I had a good name to begin with. And honestly, I did. But th that would have had to been very specific content. And I did have a dream of, like, you know, horror content and. Um, mainly horror content and horror stories and all this, but things have changed. Things have evolved, and uh, we're happy with the direction things are headed now. So, <clears throat> hey, and there's that creature that I have to get, uh, I, and I guess supposedly you have to bring it to life so that you can even see it. I mean, I don't want to kill it if I don't have to. I'd rather talk to it. But something I'd mentioned to Critterbug when we were playing together, I used to put them in the sand. I was playing with Critterbug, was that, um. It reminds me of Princess Mononoke. There are creatures like this in, in, in Princess Mononoke, an old anime. One of my, one of my all time favorites. <clears throat> Alright, so the portal's finally down. Let's see. There he is. And his claws, and that's supposed to make stuff glow. Oh yeah, yeah, I bet they did enjoy that, Jennifer. Um, they they definitely like their um, Chinese foods and um, rice and mussels, like rice especially. I know the boys love that. So. Let's see here. I know Patrick talks about clams and that all the time. <laughs> <clears throat> need to go upstairs. Wait, first thing I need. What do I have that I need still? I think we need some wire. Yeah, I need three wires. We definitely need some more wire. I need some ingot and some lumber. Let's see what we got going on here. Put the copper. Ooh, we can get the copper back. If I cut that by half, that would be six. You know, we've got plenty of ore to last us a while now. 62 ore. Definitely found quite a bit of ore out there. We have one ingot. I don't know if they all have to be the same ingot. That's etched ingot, nickel. I do think I still need them. That's always a problem, because it seems like some of the resources... Like, not like I can use... I can use the bomber, uh, bomber deer ingot and the uh, whatever that is a cairo siphon ingot um or a shimmering etched ingot with you know etched ingot nickel uh it'd be nice if you could use different kinds together but i've noticed that that is not the case in this game all that copper oh we need fuel see i do think that if you leave lumber actual piece of wood in there it turns to paper over time or something. I, somehow I'm getting paper out of my <laughs> out of there. I'm not sure how that one's happening, but I'll take it for sure. I need wood because I'm gonna have to create. Long, um, I will get more wood, but I think we want to dump that much. We got longer time period. There, about 20 minutes. That's good enough. <clears throat> Let's see here. This what we need. There's gotta be a hot key for like moving it all over at once. But it's okay. Let's see, we got six of those. I believe wire takes and you get two. You can make three wires, that'd be plenty because we have enough wire. We have one wire well, we have three wire already. No, we have two wire, we need three, so they'll give me three more, we'll have plenty there. But we do need seven in it anyways, in the end. So we will need... Oh, no, that's what I need. 
We'll need that to make more ingot. And oh, you know what? Damn it! I can't do anything with that. It's just gonna weigh me down. Forever. So I put a paper too while I'm at it. Oh, there's no room for my paper. Oh, that's right. I need to build. Uh, we need to build another one of these, which takes ingot and lumber. See, everything takes ingot and lumber here. Um, which I have some ingot. Oops, wrong one. I don't have any lumber, though. I need more lumber. Should we use etched ingot to make it look pretty, I guess? Right. I need lumber. Lots and lots of lumber. Apparently, I guess if I'm nearby that thing, based on what she was saying, if I was nearby it, Nelly Bly was saying if I was nearby that um, like spirit animal, then it would most likely start to attack me. I think if I was attacking like, saplings or trees, if I was falling them down, it would try and protect them eventually and come after me. <clears throat> but you would think there's got to be a better way I can do it without. Attacking. I'm very curious. Like, you know, we don't want you to attack these animals in here or anything. That's one of the very first things that Puck has you do. <laughs> and you don't have a choice. In order to progress the storyline in the game, you have to do what Puck says. So, it doesn't bother me none, but I just immediately reminded me that when it was came to Power World, uh, Peta, Peta, whatever. They had come out with uh, a guide on how to survive in Power World without eating the creatures. Or killing them. But, you know, you can still put them to, to work. Okay. That was a healthy amount of lumber, but I think that we still need quite a bit more. How much do we got? Woodland 30. Bad. He's coming back. <laughs> Let's cut down a tree and see what happens. Maybe it draw maybe it drew his attention. It was close enough to hear me cut the wood. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Is if I change Wilson's weapon to an axe, to start chopping trees. Change the pickaxe, to start breaking up rocks. That's probably like the only time that he's really useful is like around rocks, around trees, and that he breaks it up. I need to make better clothing for him. Didn't even think about that. So many things I've crafted in this game, but that's the point. That's what keeps the game going. And a lot of people, like, I think they don't understand it. They just want. So they wanted like a first person shooter kind of game where you've got a storyline, main line, you can't go through it, and that's it. You're done. And you end up uh, at the end of the game. But, you know, this game reminds me a lot like No Man's Sky, like City Skyline. It's a game where you have to build, craft, you know, in order for things to go on, to move on. I really enjoy City Skylines. City Skylines 2, I had big hopes for. Unfortunately, uh, it just did not. It didn't perform. So. <clears throat> I haven't returned to it. Maybe I'll do that for a live here at some point. Do a series of city skylines, building out a city. <clears throat> okay, got that. I'll go ahead and do up the wire now. Three per se, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We do need lumber. I'm gonna keep. Let's see here. I'm gonna keep five, so that means ten lumber. Minimum, I'm gonna have eleven in there. 
Where's my lumber? Ten. Yep, okay. Tip ten for doing, um... What are we gonna do with the lumber? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I could make some other stuff with... Oh, ingot. Yeah, okay. But we we did need to make more ingot. What we need to do. We can make 30 ingots. Oh, 31. I get paper. Oh, that's my paper. Never mind. That was on me. Nah. Keep that fire going for a while. Plenty of lumber. What is stock? Oh. It's a stock. Oh, I need a pole to make the stock. Uh, de deadly whether one sets it to their shoulder or upon their opponent's skull. The stock is a boon to accuracy and a blunt instrument against foes. All in a single breath. Hmm. Oh, Alright. And where do I make a pole? You have no ingredients that meet the requirements. To a point. Refined from lumber. A beam is not a pole. Oh, there's the pole. Okay. I'm curious. How many poles do I need? One? Craft me one pole. Now, make me a stock. Actually, I think I already had a pole sitting over in... But what is this? Oh. That makes sense. A stock. Ah, uh, that'd be for weaponry. If I could do guns. Yeah. Blunt instrument against foes all in a single breath. Hmm. Yeah, well... Need to be able to make a gun. I have to make, um... Ah, Wilson! <laughs> You're a blaze, Wilson. Why? You think? So there's a pole. I had a pole already. It's kind of funny. It makes a pole, or stock out of a pole. Uh, a hilt? Lumber, paper. Uh, what do you need? Oh, you need carved wood for a hilt, huh? A beam. I assume that's about it. Okay, so you got um, other refined building material or other uh, refined plans for building. Um, no, we're not. We're not. I'll put that in the wood one. And I don't have any. I thought maybe I had some carved wood, but no. that's fine. This is all more ingot, right? So do I, I think I have enough materials to build what I was looking to build aside from the chest, which we will build that in a second. We need ingot. I need seven ingots. So, I guess I didn't have enough ingots quite yet. If I have enough, can I use both those? Yeah. It's like the only time that you can use multiple types of ingot is when you're actually building something like this. Forget where where she is and where that where that heads. <clears throat> I like it. It works. And add. Hey, add. There we go. And uh, who was it? Was it Victor Frankenstein. <clears throat> I think it was spelled this way. Oops. I am actually learning German right now. Uh, me and Corny are both learning German right now. Um, I am German, Irish, and a mix of other things. But uh, I'm on my mother's side, mainly German and Irish. So. <clears throat> Although I've always wanted to do like the, the 21 and me or whatever it is. You know, test to find out what exactly, you know, uh, is in, in my bloodline. So. <clears throat> it's an astrolabe, desert astrolabe, right? You know, before I go doing that and get myself 
Going to the wrong place, wasting cards. Victor, Vic oh, it's VIC. We'll, we'll fix that. Can be found in a desert astrolabe realm. Okay. The desert astrolabe it is. Your name. Sorry. Didn't mean to misspell your name there, Victor. Open up. And then desert astrolabe, which we still are not quite prepared to be going into, but hey. Ah. My bad. Got to do that. Stone block. I think I have stone block. If not, I have stone. I could make stone block. Carved stone. I don't think I say stone block. This is stone block. I have tons of that. Not almost enough, but not quite. There's just 30 of them to take to finish off this floor. Yeah. Yeah, seven more to go. So, anyone who's tuning in for the first time, uh, welcome to the. Well, I have to get used to saying it. <laughs> welcome to the channel for Dr. Endgame. I am Dr. Endgame. We are creating. Uh, channel specifically around gameplay, game review, and game news. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, and share from wherever you might be catching us as we are multi streaming on Kick, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook currently. Wire. Copper wire, nickel wire. And my ingot. Actually, I actually have a small, uh, that's a fabled hide, too. I have a small, geez, I'm already going to use up all that space just for this stuff. Interesting. Uh, I have a small smelter of my own. I can smelt down different things like aluminum cans and such. Even, well, pretty much anything. It's just it's small. It doesn't contain a whole lot. Maybe we should pair ourselves with some... Healing cells and that is it's gonna be a bit of a journey, isn't it? Well, let's see here. Oh, that's why. That's why I can fit paper in there. I'm like, I thought I could fit paper in there. He had more ore that I forgot about. I make more. Ingot still. Won't need the lumber right now, I don't think. Do we have any... Well, we do have some of that. <clears throat> okay. Um, can I build? Let's see. I don't know if I have enough to build it, but we're going to find out here saying it. I don't know why some cards only show the Nightingale image, don't actually show the image of the item. Um, it's kind of weird. I built it. I don't know why it doesn't show it. What I want to build is this. The bonfire. This wood bundle and ingot. Okay. I don't want it really being in the middle. I mean, technically we'd have to have one in each room almost. Um, well lit, sheltered. Over here, it would provide more heat to stuff to get it done. But I mean, that's kind of what that's doing as well. This would apply, up, uh, apply to everything. I guess we'll just stick it right here maybe. Off to the side on like the campfire stuck downstairs in the game.
Hey, Sophie, I'll give that some consideration. I do appreciate you dropping by. Okay, we need some ingot, and I believe we need this bundles of wood. Which I need to collect some bottles of wood. Four wood bundles. Real quick, just so I can make some food, have some healing salve and stuff before I go into that realm. Because once we go in that realm, I guess it's getting dark here, so we'll probably take a, a long rest to what they used to call long rest was your, your death. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. I appreciate the follow very much. Thank you. I want the wood. Shouldn't have taken that one. Jeez. Uh, try not to take the saplings because they'll grow up in the big beautiful trees like these. <laughs> I should have made enough wood bundles to finish that off. The realm is open and awaits my, my, uh, my entry. I will be heading that way very, very soon. I just need to be prepared. Alright, we've done this before. Alright. Oh, first, I need to add some fuel. And we'll go ahead and use what the sticks and stuff we have already. It looks like we had a lot more fuel. Before, I think it was 25 for the small fire. I was going to add probably 50 items to it on this. So, healing salve. <clears throat> want as many of those as I possibly can get. And you have a blessed day too, Sophia. I will definitely take a look at that after I'm done with the line, okay? Anyway, let's see here. Roasted meat. I need 40, but I don't know how long that'll take to even make, huh? Those are going back pretty quick. What is that sound? My tea kettle? Ooh, tender steak. Seasoned raw meat. I have to make seasoned raw meat. So I need spice. Okay. Can I make a salad? Mix plants and spice. Oh, we need spice. <laughs> Where do we go get spice? <clears throat> Simple meat stuffs. Um, I think. Two of one bug. You know what? Crack it. Do it. Do all 41. That'll take just a couple minutes. And then, like I said, I like to have double of different kinds. I'm collecting it, obviously it's a different kind of meat than what I had on me already. That was tier one prey. I'll just stick that in there for now, because it's not gonna mix with what I already have. Fabled meat, tier one mon monarch locust. Very curious. Some of that I should I'm gonna need to break down into actual plant or into animal fiber. <clears throat> Hoping that when we go to this next realm, I will find a refined workbench so I can create some better tools and items for taking this on. So <clears throat> this has been, uh, you know, going to that one realm with like 80 level character, 80 level NPC, and the NPCs. That was that was insane. You know, um, having that gunpowder thrown at me, I was getting my ass handed to me already. So I would like to avoid that. What is that? That's a marigold, which I think is exactly what I was making here, so that should blend well. Right in the, the berries that I created. 
we can replace the healing salve with that. Or the healing potion. Although I think I'll put one of those in there too, because those, those seem to help pretty good too. Okay. So close. How long? Two minutes, 30 seconds. Alright. I wonder if you sleep, if it considers the time. I haven't ever tried that. I don't think it does, because I think I've woken up and the fire was still able to go for as long as it needed to. We're almost done with this, too. Got our last ingot. Eh. Long sleep. <clears throat> oh, it does. But it doesn't really waste the amount of fuel that you have. So honestly, if you were to think about it, if you set up your stations and then go take a long sleep, it would all be ready by the first thing in the morning. Now, I mean, granted, that only works for so much stuff or you have to have multiple stations set up and ready for it, but that's good to know. Oh, that's good. Oh, Cape Aloe is with that. Okay, that's a different kind. That's all right. And that one was tier one prey meat, and I thought I had put that away. I think we are loaded up for at least healing and food. And, uh, tier one bug meat, tier one prey meat, bug meat. Oh, I may have done the wrong one. There we go. Okay. Wait. Okay, yeah, see, I added to it there. Okay. I don't want the marigold right now because we don't have all that. I just take plant fiber back for now because I need more bones if I'm going to do healing cells. It's going on a hunt. <clears throat> Alright. Portal should still be open? Nope. Long sleep. It decided to shut itself. Alright. We open portal. And then we'll be on our way. While we're waiting, let's see if we're going to rocks around here and bust up for finishing off that. That last platform on the floor. We gotta make that room a lot bigger though. We're gonna have portals inside. Nope. Oh. Okay, hi, Buck. Among the summer court, there is no want of fresh merriment for our human guests. Mushroom glazed in dulcet lapis. Boujum roast topped with evergold. Well, Twisted, I just saw your message, and as far as I know, before I started live, they were doing wonderful. And when I stepped out for a quick break to grab some water, <clears throat> um, I got... Uh, yeah, you should you should make something based on him, huh? <laughs> anyway, we, um, uh, baby... Oh, and she told me she told you, baby pooped. <laughs> With such a taste for finery, so, I imagined your kind good. would rejoice, yeah, good. preparing non-pareil <laughs> dishes with the fair that now surrounds thee. It seems, however, but thou your, wouldst prefer to uh, sup on the same sordid morsels, meal mm. after meal. I suppose we must be glad no the rest of the summer fay are not around to witness Remember such bland finger. tastes. <clears throat> the highlight of any day when Christina poops. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I mean, that was, a, that was a pretty awesome outfit that you created for the Nutcracker. And, that. and I've seen some of that other stuff that you made. Um, those crochet... Uh, I, guess not, I don't know if you call them dolls, but, you know, your creatures, your creations. <laughs> 
and the uh, the outfits. That's that's pretty wild. All the effort that has to go into that. <clears throat> anyway, we're trying to get some stone while we waited. Of course, Puck may have waited us out. We don't have to worry about the stone. <clears throat> Question is, focusing on small things is good, but hyper focusing on them. Okay, you know, we have everything. The realm should be open. Not too worried about it. Uh, we're about half down on our weight. What is it that's weighing me down so much? I don't have many marbles. I should probably get some more just in case. But I don't see anything really here that should be weighing me down that much. Is it the salt? No. Oh, it's probably just like my overall equipment, I bet. And the tools I have on me. And, oh, and all the food I just created, right? <clears throat> and steal her from me, huh? What do you what do you mean steal her from me? The baby or Courtney? <laughs> And either what? And either in either case, what do you mean, steal from me? <clears throat> I've been hearing that you've been calling yourself empty. And I told Courtney, I said that's the case, and she needs to come visit. <laughs> <clears throat> and you can't be naming yourself that and not come visit. Okay, I know I had more marble balls. I wonder if I left them back. Damn it! <laughs> <clears throat> I think I have to make more. I think I left them back in the other realm. Uh, Ortega's realm. I don't have any other uh, places that I store stuff, so I think I left them back there. Shit. Oh well. What is I'm curious about this? I've been meaning to check this out. Can I stick this here? Yes! So it doesn't have to take up a spot of my inventory. Doesn't mean I can use the quick. Oh, both. You can steal them both from me, huh? <clears throat> Don't really need the salt to come with me, but oh well, I'll take it. I have to create a small storage basket for seasonings. All right, next realm. Gotta go find Vicar. Uh, Vic, <laughs> Vicar. Victor Franken Frankenstein. I prefer to say Frankenstein. I know a lot of people say Frank Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Of course, that came from um, Young Frankenstein. The movie. He went around crushing everybody. Frankenstein! I got some greenery here. This is a nice little pretty desert. I have to have like a hundred sickle to take on that. Okay, let's see. There's a couple essence traders. I know there'll be a couple of them out here. There's one here. And there's gonna be one here. I'm gonna guess that is Victor. He's kind of on the way if I'm gonna go roundabout. Really, I want to see if I can get that freaking, um... If I can get... There. If I can get the, uh, refined workstation. So we will be careful. Head over to the Essence Traders and we'll come back down there. So actually, let's go to the furthest one first. <coughs> Yeah. Okay. I see. I see why you now want to kidnap my family. <laughs> the happiness, the sunshine, and rainbows, having a happy disposition. <clears throat> you know. Okay. So in uh, in college, in an English course, I had to take. We had to write a paper, right? We'd pick a topic. It was early English, so the teacher flat out told me when I was done with the paper, she's like, "Okay, every paragraph you wrote there, I could see as its own chapter." You you tried to condense everything down into a single paper, which I mean I was able to do, but of course it did affect the grade. It made it more like a, a B. Uh, but uh, the topic, the the concept was. So we know there's negatives and positives in the world, right? Uh, an atom, for instance, you have your po um, 
neutrons, electrons, and protons. And protons and electrons are positive and negative forces. Neutrons are neutral. Um, not that, you know, we gain the really deep ideas here, but um, the concept... Ooh, these are some pretty looking like this. The concept is that, you know, um, if, you, if you think of more like a magnet, actually, we have a positive side and negative side. You take two magnets and try and push them together on the negative side, they repel, and the positive side, they repel, right? So think about it the same way with a positive person and a negative person. Uh, two positive people, really, really positive, happy people. I mean, yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna be happy around each other, but at the same time, uh, there's a bit of an imbalance there, right? And the same thing with negative. If you had two really negative people, they definitely probably don't want to be around one another. But positive people want to share the positivity. They want to share you know, what's been going really good in their life. And negative people want to share the negativity uh, a lot of times to let it out, you know. Um, <clears throat> I found that, you know, to a, a really positive person, if they were around a negative, you know, a person who's having a bad day uh, while someone's having a good day, they will share their good day while listening to the person having a bad day. And they kind of will eventually, it kind of balances each other out, right? Um... At the same token, uh, so is that exchange of positive and negative energy. So the same thing with like atoms and uh, exchanging pro, uh, electrons between them, the negative energy between them to help balance out the atoms to create an element. So, and the teacher was just like, "Mm-hmm." <laughs> so that was a fun conversation to have, <clears throat> or a fun paper to write. I don't know if I still have that one. I also wrote a paper. I had a class. It was specifically a research class. And I, I hated writing research papers. And I wrote this one research paper. Thank you for letting me know, She said she's going to be busy with baby, so but she'll still be listening. Um, what a lot of Twitch users I've learned call lurking. <laughs> so I think I'm going to try... I don't know if this is the place to climb up. Dang it. I'm trying to find a good place to climb up here. That might not be so bad. There's a lot of ledges on the way up, so we might be able to make this. I need to get out my my climbing picks. So, anyway. Uh, I wrote a paper. It was on... Uh, originally, it was going to be on the Philosopher's Stone. And I found I couldn't find it. Up. Like you had, We had to have, specifically, um, double-line study um, journal... Uh, articles. Uh, otherwise, you know, to, to back up our, our research paper. And so uh, I couldn't find enough information on that. But I did find enough more on alchemy and its effect on today. <clears throat> so I wrote a whole paper about that. Um, how most of the sciences that we know today actually came from alchemical studies. Um, anything from like chemistry to the pharmaceutical industry um, to even like cooking, you know. So when I wrote that paper, uh, the teacher, I, she gave me 100%. I was like, that's the best I've ever done on a research paper. I kept that thing. 12-page paper. Um, maybe it was a little longer. But she was like, if anybody was going to do this, it would have been me. So she, she absolutely loved it. And I was like, that's awesome. Um, I was thrilled to be able to, oh, no, 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 I don't want to fall. To have written a paper like that. that someone wasn't, you know, they didn't. They didn't believe it was going to be possible. I know they didn't believe it was going to be possible um, until I finished it up. And I was like, yeah, okay. I had the will and determination to make sure that I got that paper written. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, get up this ledge. Can we can get up this ledge? We kind of walk sideways here. Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Go up here. There we go. Gotta get up to the wall. Come on, Emma. We got this. I said there's enough ledges. I think we can make it up, but uh, uh, <laughs> maybe not. That's a high ledge. All right, I think we'll try this side. Oh, come on. We got this. Just a little further. Don't fall. <laughs> I'm talking like you can actually hear like. I think the character can actually, yeah, yeah, no, we got this, yeah, yeah, we're almost, oh, shit, I should have gone up that way, huh? Damn it. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Obviously, we can make this way up. 
We passed it on the way up. <clears throat> Alright. Nope. There we go. Let's get up here and we'll go up the next ledge. I said, there are plenty of ledges here to make it up this. Just gotta follow and find the right way. Engaging the climbing eh, is uh, no different than jumping, so that becomes a bit problematic sometimes. <clears throat> oh, there's a ledge right here, I know there is. Oh, come on. <laughs> there, I was about to say, you better step up on that ledge and not... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can like, go sideways and stuff. I didn't know I could do that. Come on, get up here. Okay, so where is it? Ah, it's right up here. Okay. The one thing I've learned that I need to do in this game is in the realms there is always a tower. And I think that's the one over there. But if you conquer the tower, you it like fills in all the stuff on the map. So always useful. I want the essence trader. Are you the essence trader? Yes. I could help you, and you know what? I might another day. Not right now, Jenny. You decided to build on top of a freaking mountain. <clears throat> really? Really? <laughs> you don't have what I want. No, I kind of fear that was, that was going to be part and parcel to the pot. Possibility here. He wasn't gonna have what I wanted. Next one. Ooh, those guys might have what I want. I do have to get stuff from them. Does not look like he or she, whoever may be the essence trader, is on top of the mountain for this one, so we I should have regained all my stamina first. Oh well. Drop. No. We regain some stamina. Coming in hot. <laughs> nice. Two hundred meters ahead of me. And then seven hundred to uh, Frankenstein. Crude sundial, a mining cradle, a formula board, a crude ammo box. Fill to the brim with gun rounds and shells. That's a schematic, so I have to fill it to the brim with that stuff, but you know. <clears throat> the advanced stone walls. Interesting. What I want, though, you guys are not giving me. I may have to look it up. But I'm gonna... I'll do that after this, because right now, unfortunately, I'm just not... not finding it. So we're gonna keep moving on. We're gonna see Frankenstein. We've got five minutes of our live left, and so... You know, we'll go at least start the Frankenstein 
Um, quest. Forgot what he has to say. <clears throat> oh no. No, no, no. I don't want to deal with the locust. Okay. Those ones don't seem to be like that they want to attack me, which is great. But I haven't engaged them yet, so. I actually like this this desert better. You can't set up a, um, a respite here. Not an astrolabe room, but I do like to look at this one better than my own. Oh, there's a portal. Is that, that That's the portal I came in from. <laughs> I ate two of them. I didn't mean to eat two of them. I think I changed that. Oh. Hey. No. Okay. Wait, this is where he's supposed to be. First set of stairs going up the rock cliff. That's awesome. Can we get more of this? Yeah, he's all the way up here. Okay, I want to steal your shit. Now I do wonder. So I can't build a refined, or I, have, I don't have the ability to build a refined um, work table yet. But I'm wondering if someone else would have one if I could use it. So. <clears throat> I've come to despise field work in the autumn of life. Out here, there are no laboratory doors that I can lock myself behind to avoid these persistent disruptions. When the mind is tasked with deliberation, solitude is indispensable. I'm here on behalf of your acquaintance, Nellie Bly. Nellie? Oh, she harbors an angelic spirit. She knew I need a hand in spite of my being too proud to ask. To aid Nellie's cause, it is the secrets of, he of heaven and earth I desire to learn, both the outward substance of things and the inner spirit of their nature. I am attempting to ascertain greater understanding of these pit uh, pitiable, wandering limitations of life, which many classify as automatons. <clears throat> so you're him, Victor, Dr. Frankenstein. Mm, doctor, doctor. You're wondering if the stories are true? They are, and they are not, depending on whose accounts you've read. Captain Robert Walton inserted his own fictions into, many story, into my story for personal gain. He was a failed writer before his se seafaring life, and seize the opportunity without discretion to, or prudence. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Uh, the daemon, as Walton dubbed him, uh, was, perhaps still is, quite real. Neither my mind nor my soul has rested a day since I wielded these powers, which no man should ever wield. What are the automatons? I am not yet certain. However, the florid, mystifying complexity of their design leads us to believe they are fae created. This is further supported by the symmetrical patterns present in their hostile conjurings, balanced, elegant, and in accordance with geometry of certain Fae's own spellcasting. Why are they here now? What task were they created to perform? What mechanisms give them motion? These are the questions I hope to answer. How did you wind up hel helping Nelly? We are assigned one another's company when the pale struck. As one of the Calcularia's authorities on interromic portal technologies, the explorers sought my expertise. Providence had it that we connected again some weeks after stepping through the portals, where we both ventured toward a herbarium desert for varying reasons. I feel deep gratitude for that turn of fortune, which led us to each other's company once more. Without it, humanity's path toward the Watch would never have been illuminated. Hence my study of the automatons. We need unique oil from them, yes? I am glad she sent you informed. We are compelled by the makeup of a unique charm oil secreted by the bishop. This substance is capable of generating profound amounts of electricity. What I'm hoping to uncover is the precise means by which we might be able to obtain this oil without deactivating them entirely. So far, I've gleaned little by glossing over what texts are available. My thoughts are being pulled in two directions, you see. 
which is not conducive to either of the dueling means before me. <laughs> Yawn openly. <laughs> ah, let's see here. I sent a request coming my way. Before encountering Nelly, I was meant to be devoting, uh, devoting my time in the realms to a robust study and laborious di disquis <laughs> disquisition uh, on our new common enemy, the Bound. with some success. Is that so? I wonder if I could enlist your services. You could aid me with my calcularian uh, duties whilst I continue to examine these automatons. I hate to neglect my duties as both are of some urgency. Obtaining the oil is tantamount, yet an understanding of the bound will prove invaluable in the fight ahead. In all honesty, Mrs. Lovelace is a bit frightening on occasion, and I'd prefer not to upset her. I've heard the name Lovelace before. They use a lot of um, names, I think, from actual historical figures and from um, historical writings. You know, obviously Frankenstein, right? Um, <clears throat> There's something you're not telling me. Remaining phlegmatic was never one of my virtues. My days of uh, a pilfering carnal houses uh, are behind me. But to examine life, we must first have recourse to death. A, a surfeit of samples taken from all, about, from all bound classifications will prove essential. The innards that sustain their animate state. Knowing progress is being made on that end will take a weight off my shoulders and, assure, and afford me the break from mental misery needed to impel my knowledge of the automatons. By the time you return, I should have ascertained more details on their bishops. Let's hope, for all our sakes. I will leave you to it. What do I have to obtain for you? Arcane Wick, Bound Bristle, Bound Icker. I think I have the Icker already. Uh, I used that Lacunus ign uh, Ingot already, but he had a five. I think I had like one or two. <clears throat> Lumber, Raw Gem, Petrified Icker, Acquire Ingot, Hollow Metal. Gather Bound Research Samples. I think most of that, given the kind of research samples they are, will probably come from this realm. So we definitely are not going to be, re you know... Losing this realm, and I wouldn't anyways, because it is where Frankenstein... Frankenstein is. Frankenstein. <clears throat> so my big issue right now is I still want to know where I can get... You know, those items I've been looking for. Go back to the respite. I am curious. One thing I want to check, and then we're calling it into the li to the live today. <clears throat> and then we're back tomorrow, and mm, I will debate on whether or not we are still playing Nightingale or if it'll be a horror game. Either way, come check us out. And watch us play. <clears throat> I need to see about the setup because I got some follows and I noticed I didn't see, I didn't look over in time to see if the, uh, I may need either you, Twisted, or uh, Courtney, or Jennifer, or anyone, or Wally, any one of you are watching on a regular basis to see if the, um, there's supposed to be a notification, like uh, animation that comes up when people subscribe, follow, you know, uh, like, and so on. <clears throat> um... I need to check to see if that's still coming up. And also, you know, I can see up there, it still says TMG from my YouTube channel, um, who followed me last Friday. But I do know that, um, or subscribed to the channel last Friday, but I do know that um, there is a follow one there, and I think that that should be in line with Twitch. I don't know what's going on with that. But since I'm multi stream now, some of the stuff I think that they are still working on is getting confused. Anyway. I was going to go head over to the Essence Trader over here and see if maybe, perhaps, because, you know, the whole card thing I was looking at before, maybe he's got the workbench that I need. If not, then I'm at a loss, and I will look it up, and we will find it. Without going back through all the realms and hunting this thing down. You know, I would like to get my uh, equipment upgraded, both for me and for Wilson, to make things easier on us. As we traverse the realms, because you know it worked out well when I had Critter here. Critter had a lot of his up, uh, equipment already upgraded. Uh, perhaps was even watching. You know, I know that he watched other streamers as well, and so perhaps he had already seen 
where to, how to obtain that workbench. It's over here. Got the side of power. I don't know if there's another essence trader in my. There's the one there, which I could probably go back to um, Wilhelmina Sass anyways and trade some stuff for her. Let's see. What is that? That's a portal. Oh, that is the portal. That's why I had a sticker with the fairy there. Uh, let's see. Velmet transmuter. Hunt site of power, which we need to deal with. We did with that and this. Astrolabe and the herbarium. We had help from. But there should be another side of power that we're going to have to deal with. There's the gloom side of power. The provisioner. That's it. I had to get the provisioner card. Conquer the site to receive the means to open provisioner realms. The means to open gloom realms. So there are other kinds of realms as well that we haven't been in the hunt realm. So those three I still have to also conquer uh, to get the means for it. But uh, you may have seen how difficult it was for me to even conquer the other two realms. Uh, the other two sides of power even with critters help. So I definitely need to upgrade my equipment if I can take all that on. <clears throat> We can get that figured out. So let's go see if this lesson trader has one looking for. If not, like I said, we're going to call it into the live today. Um, I just want to double check. So I've made that mistake before. Where, hey, you know, where's that address card? Oh, that is not here. No, that was here, not elsewhere. Yeah, he doesn't have it. I can get those if I really wanted them. Explore card, angler card, feast card, those are all cards for um, their realm modifying cards. So, yep, yeah, he doesn't have what I'm looking for. Alright, I'm gonna see what Wilhelmina's got. Ah, you again, always a pleasure. Hoping to make a trade, or are you just here to talk? I'm sure there's plenty in your past I'd love to hear about. <clears throat> Rumors lately. Always something particular you're looking for. Uh, have you heard tell of anyone notable out in the realms? Sun giants, you say? Well, who would know giant kind better than a giant? I've received several reports of a swamp giant, or Grendel, as they say in the swamp gloom, who speaks our common tongue. So, some say this, uh, she speaks all human languages, learning... A new one from each stray wanderer she makes a feast of. Interesting. Not that I'm quite notable. Out oh, on no, no, no. uh, particular people, the spirits, and what uh, what might you need that for? Hmm? Visit an antiquarian swamp, and you can thank me later. Knowledge about realm spirits. All right. There's quite a com uh, commotion coming out of that realm. Tales of ritual sacrifice to a vengeful fae. There were more than a few casualties. But I hear your expert, a woman called Ludovine St. Clair, uh, yet lives. Okay. Well, everyone, that is going to conclude our live for today. I do appreciate you coming and checking us out, hanging out and watching. Um, we will be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. And we'll see what I'm going to play then. It might be more Nightingale, but it may be something different. I'm going to take a look at my library and... Um, we'll find out in the morning, but uh, be sure to follow, subscribe, share, and like from wherever you might be catching our stream. Also, we do have a Patreon, and the link should be in the description, but it might be updated. <laughs> so, you know, uh, we will get that updated if it isn't already. Uh, if there is a link, uh, there's a link on my Twitch for sure uh, that's been updated, but um, as far as other places, I'm still working on getting all that. All those links that I had out there in the world updated, so... Y'all have a wonderful day. Hope that you're blessed and stay safe out there.